What is up, Brad Pants? How you doing? How you living? Very well, I hope. A uh, bit of a different episode here. A uh, short one, quick one, uh, with just some updates. Don't worry, uh, I do have an episode in the can ready to go uh, for tomorrow. You will get new content. Jay Ingram returns to the show to do what he does. Drop some knowledge, some wisdom on science communication, and tease a couple of great new projects that he's working on. So it was a great chat, and I'll post that tomorrow. But first, there's a couple things that I wanted to get out of the way, and I didn't want to just cram them into the beginning of of another episode and sort of steal the spotlight from a guest. Um, So I'm going to lay it out here because I'm going to do something that I struggled with for a long time thinking about doing and that is of course a donations page soliciting donations from our listenership now I thought about doing it for a while it's something a lot of podcasts do Uh, I always didn't want to do it because um, you know at the beginning it's it's a lot of friends and family that listen and you know it's it's like when you have a band and you're always like come see my band pay 10 10 bucks and come see my band Uh, it just felt weird but I was encouraged by uh, a couple of friends of the show and um, some good friends of mine from back home who've been really supportive of the show since the beginning. Uh, and, and they offered donations. And to, to the guys that, that did that, to the people that did that, thank you. I really do appreciate that. And in some conversations with them, um, they kind of said, you know, it, it takes time to do these things, but why not? Why not ask for donations? Why not ask for a bit of time So, or a bit of money? Um, so we're going to do it. Uh, there's a link on our homepage. So tobradforyou.wordpress.com. You'll find a link there to our Buy Me a Coffee account. Uh, I chose that one just because it seemed a little more informal than, say, like a Patreon or, or things like this. Um, we may set up subscriptions at some point. I don't know. Um, just kind of dabbling into it. But basically the format right now is just if you want to chip in, whatever you want to chip in, you can go there and chip in. Uh, it means a lot if if people do. Um, I mean, I would do this uh, even if I, you know, wasn't getting anything and then I haven't been getting anything for up until now. I've been doing this for about three years. Um I love doing it. It's something that, you know, when Brad and I started this show three years ago, we did so because we both really love talking about science and thought there was a way that, uh, you know, we could create a community of listeners who come along for the ride. You know, we both have some kind of scientific expertise, some kind of scientific background, and so we're able to kind of sift through the the noise, the the studies, the the data and stuff, and kind of find the interesting stuff and talk about it, hopefully in a way that um, has some authority to it. You know, we kind of understand what we're talking about, I guess, is the point. Um, but we wanted to make this a two-way conversation, you know, like the listeners learn, you guys can learn with us, right? We don't know it all. We're not here to just dictate to you what what is going on. It's not like one of those shows where, hey, today you're going to learn this and we're going to explain blah, blah, blah to you. It's more, isn't this fucking weird? And yeah, what does that mean? And and what does this mean for going forward if we have gene editing or head transplants or whatever it is, you know? So that was kind of always the goal. And I feel like we're getting closer to that. Uh, you may have noticed an absence of Brad, the second Brad, British Brad on the show um well you know he just got too big for the show really and uh I'm trying to negotiate a speaker fee to bring him back so you know donations would help go towards that uh hopefully we can get him back but uh it just speaks to the time to be honest it takes time to do the show so that's one of the one of the costs um that would you know, donations would help. It would make it easier to set aside that time. And then we also have some, you know, we do have some, some expenses that we, that we incur in, in doing this, uh, web hosting, um, the, the program that I use to, to record remote interviews. Uh, there was an initial investment in some equipment and stuff like that. Um, so we have some yearly costs. And like I said, I would be doing this even, 
you know, if, if none of those costs were ever recouped, I would, I would continue to do this. Um, so I'm just putting it out there as to like, if you do choose to donate, this is, this is what it's going to go to. Um, and then just to kind of like, like take stock of what's been done, what we've done. And I alluded there to like what the show was trying to do, what we, what we wanted to do, what the goal of the show is and how I think we're actually getting closer to that now. Um, because we've been doing a lot more interview conversation things with other people. So that I think is really helpful, uh, for the audience. I think the audience likes it. I think you guys like it. Um, gotten some positive feedback on that. Um, and we're going to be doing more, you know, I'm, I'm going to be trying to do more regular episodes. Obviously, I just had a child, so this is also going to factor into it. So donations would help, like I said, to, to allow me this sort of time to do that, to justify some of the time in doing that. But again, the idea was to create a, a community, you know, like a, a back and forth. So that's why I've set up all these channels for people to reach out. And we've had some people reach out, but I think some people are reluctant to reach out. Maybe they don't think, um, maybe they don't have a question top of mind or like a specific question or something. Or they're like, oh, I just, you know, I just like listening and I'm learning stuff and there it is. But it doesn't have to be a, hey, what, how does this work? Or what do you think of this? Or, you know, science thing. It can be anything, just anything, you know, a, a dialogue. There can be a dialogue here on this show. And I think that that would be really, really cool just to get to see what people are thinking uh, about things, to see what their opinions are on stuff. It doesn't have to be a question. You know, you can tell me what you think uh, about anything, um, science, politics, whatever. Those are the things we kind of cover. That's just the stuff that I can, at least science, I can speak with some authority on. Um, but it would be great just to just to hear from people and get that back and forth, you know. Um, and then, like I said, that's that's the way that you can learn with me as I learn about all these things that I'm interested in. So we're going to keep going on with psychedelics. Uh, we're going to keep on with just research in general, genomics, um, bioinformatics, that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm really into, I've got a couple people I'm reaching out to, uh, to be on the show to talk about those things. Um, what else? Just is science in general, the, 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 the practice of science, I think is really interesting. And maybe that's helpful for people. Uh, I have an episode idea coming up about how do you, how do you rate scientific information? How do we rate what is good information? What is bad information? You know, I actually just kind of figured this out too, even though I've been in the science world for, for a long time. Um, so you guys can learn along with me and it was all spurred on by me getting called a shill on Twitter. So that's an interesting story. Um, and I'm not sure that there needs to be much more said on this other than I hope that people are enjoying the journey and that they feel like they're part of the journey and that they feel like they're part of the conversation because that's what I want. Um, and so I would love to hear from any and all of you, uh, on any of the channels that we have set up. Um, to, to reach out to the show. So that's Twitter and Instagram at too Brad for you. You can email us, uh, too Brad for you at gmail.com. And we have a voice message service set up speakpipe.com slash too Brad for you. And then of course you can donate to the show via our buy me a coffee page. Uh, and all of this is located on our website. So really, if you go to too Brad for you dot wordpress.com, you can find everything there. It's the one stop shop, as they say, um, to, to find all these links and, you know, you can follow there. There's a, there's links to Spotify, to Apple, to Google, Google podcast, whatever it is. So you can follow the show, subscribe, all of that stuff. And yeah, like I said, I just wanted to take a minute to, to say this directly and sort of on its own. So, you know, if people want to skip past this episode, you know, they can. And, whatever, you know, as long if they <laughs> don't want to hear it and, uh, and just want to hear the, the guests, that's fine too, you know? So, um, that's my sort of announcement. That's my, I guess, uh, plea coming out with hat in hand. Um, and yeah, I hope it gives you also, uh, a bit of the sort of thinking behind the show 
what the direction we want to take this in, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to build. Um, I don't, like I said, it's, it's all about, I think there's a, a space in science communication for, you know, this sort of plain language silliness. We can talk, we can, we can, you know, get, get a little crazy with ideas, extrapolating science into the future or making, you know, fart jokes or dick jokes or whatever it is, you know, that, that's, that's all, that's all here. Science doesn't have to be so serious, right? It's, it's a process of finding knowledge and what we do with that knowledge is actually the the interesting thing you know the nuts and bolts of it or you know this finding may one day you know equal this treatment or something like that that's pretty formulaic it's pretty boring um hoping we're trying to do something else trying to i don't know if i'm succeeding you can let me know if i'm succeeding or not uh but that's it so I hope that the you get the idea that the the show is it's about the personality it's about the the characters that we bring on uh, and it's about doing this journey together not not me telling you what's up uh, I'm happy to answer questions as always and you know I when I talk about things it's because I've researched them and I have an idea of of, of what I'm talking about but it really is uh, you know it's it's a it's a journey together more so than a top-down, this is how things are, or here's an explainer on this. There's lots of science shows out there that do that, and they do it better than I could, and they do it when I don't want to. I don't want to do those. That's not what I want to do. I want to sit and talk about these things, um, and maybe that's because I'm lazy, uh, and I don't want to do you know a super-produced uh, kind of show like like the others, but I also just think that there's there's space for this, you know. If you look at other uh, themes, genres, whatever, they're successful um, by doing sort of this kind of thing, you know, bringing the listener into this world uh, and lowering the sort of barrier for entry. So uh, everyone is welcome. Even the guy that called me a shill on Twitter, I'd be happy to hear from him again. Um, and yeah, that's it, folks. So again, please do reach out. It would be great to hear from 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 any of you. So I will say it again uh, at Too Brad for You on Twitter and Instagram, Too Brad for You at gmail.com, speakpipe.com slash Too Brad for You, or just go to the the website Too Brad for You WordPress.com, and you can find it all there. As uh, probably a good time as well to shout out the Freak Motif who did do the music do the theme music for us uh you can find them at frkmtf.com again links to their their page on on the website as well and sebastian abood that's abood a-b-b-o-u-d sebastian a-b-b-o-u-d.com he did the the logo and does great graphic design work sells some work is available for work so you can check out that too Thanks, guys. Really, really appreciate it and really excited to keep this thing going, to keep this train rolling. So until next time, take care. Bye for now.